Most kids think history is in the past, but it's happening right here. It can be smelly or beautiful or extremely delicious. Take Chicago hot dogs, for instance. Or if you're like me, you'll take two. Wieners were first seen in Chicago at the World Fair of 1893. But what makes a dog a Chicago-style dog? Taste. You can order one of those mouth-watering Franks, boiled with lots of toppings, but absolutely no, nuh-uh, you guessed it, no ketchup. Visit the Sensing Chicago exhibit at the Chicago History Museum and find out what it feels like to be a Chicago-style hot dog. Yum! Most kids think history is in the past, but it's happening right now. This is the home of the world champion Chicago White Sox. On a hot summer night, you can just feel the electricity of the fans. There's 40,000 of them sitting at the edge of their seat. But did you know that the White Sox used to play at a different field? It was called Comiskey Park. The Sox played there for 80 years. One of their most exciting seasons was in 1959, when owner Bill Vax, Go Go White Sox, won the American League Championship. Visit the Sensing Chicago exhibit at the Chicago History Museum. Batter up! Most kids think history's in the past, but it's happening right now. This is the prairie, and what most of Chicago looked like hundreds of years ago. At one time, the prairie seemed endless, spreading far and wide and dotted with tall grasses and wildflowers. Can you imagine what this place smelled like before Chicago was built here? But why is the prairie important to us now, especially when you can only find it in a few places? because history is all around us and it connects us to the past. Come visit the Sensing Chicago exhibit at the Chicago History Museum. <sighs> Breathe it in. Most kids think history is in the past, but it's happening right now. And it can be noisy, tasty, or extremely beautiful. This is the Chicago skyline. People come from all over the world to see buildings like the Sears Tower. You can see different sides of the skyline depending on where you're standing, whether you're here or here. But no matter where you stand, the skyline is filled with some of the most famous buildings in the world. After the Great Chicago Fire of 1871, the city had a chance to rebuild. Up from the ashes rose the buildings that make up the continually changing living museum called the Chicago Skyline. Come visit the Sensing Chicago exhibit at the Chicago History Museum. Picture perfect! Most kids think history is in the past, but it's happening right now. And it could be smelly, or bumpy, or really bumpy. That's the sound of the Chicago L, or elevated train. You can take it from one end of the town to the other. This is over 200 miles of track. It's been roaring its way through the city since 1893. But what's so special about the L? Chicagoans have been taking these trains to work home, and everything in between. Visit the Sensing Chicago exhibit at Chicago History Museum, where you can experience even more sounds from the past. Get on board! <laughs> 